For this project, I'm looking for someone who can make a completed uh, granola bar with a belly band so that when attendees walk in, one of these will be at their place. People who are virtual attendees will get one. You saw what just happened. We're going to have a conversation about adhesives. So what I used on this one was my tape runner, but it's not really strong enough to hold against the pull of the tension that's in this thing when it wants to unwind itself. Two strong options. One option is the liquid adhesive. This is a real strong adhesive once it dries. The other option is something that Stampin' Up! sells. It's called the Terran Tape. Um, this is like the newer version of, and if you have been a crafter for a long time, you might have this product. Stampin' Up! actually used to sell this as well. They called this Red Sticky Tape. It is a really super strong tape. Um, the difference between these two in terms of how it works for us crafting is that this one you have to cut with the scissors and this one you can just tear. But it is a really strong adhesive and so that's what I'm just going to use right now. <laughs> as soon as I can find the edge. There we go. So it, this is real easy to use. If you have it, great. If you choose this project and you have this uh, tape, great. If you choose this project and you've got this, it should work just fine. If you choose this project and you have some of this sitting around at your workspace, I don't care if you use it. Nobody's going to take this apart and look at what uh, adhesive you used on it. So you can see how easy this is. You just lay it right on here and looks like I went a little bit over, not a problem at all. I'm just going to burnish it down with my thumbnail or you could use a bone folder. Pull off the edge. This is just tear away, throw away. So if you choose this project, it's not like I'm looking for this kind of granola bar. My husband ate all of the regular ones and so somebody gave us those, they're extras. You see how there's a little bit left over on the side? Right there underneath my finger, it's sticky. So all I'm going to do is lift that up and just fold it on and now it's um, out of the way, hidden from view. And I've got my, um, my belly band completed and now let's talk about how to create the decoration. So I've got another one ready to go and uh, I'm just going to lay that down here for the moment. My suggestion would be to put the belly band on first and then add the decoration to it. Now these three pieces of poinsettia are from the poinsettia dies and what I did was I cut two of this size and one of this one right here. If you happen to have these poinsettia dies and you choose this project, great, you can use your own dies. If you choose to do this project and you don't have the poinsettia dies, then we'll have to figure a way either for you to come to my house and borrow, we'll have to find, figure a way where you can borrow my dies. Because um, part of me asking other people to help with this event is saving me the time so I don't have to do all the die cutting. Can you see the lines that are inside of the uh, petals here? And then this one, when it sits on the base, there's actually two. One of them simply cuts the shape, which is all I did for my project. There's an insert that you can put in here that also, this one doesn't cut, it just has the lines on it. I think the reflection is showing you those lines. So it can do some embossing. If you feel like taking the time to emboss all those pieces as well as cut them, that's great. Not necessary for how this project needs to come together. So it's going to be really simple once you've got three pieces cut. Let me get this out of the way. It does also, by the way, cut a little center for the flower, which would look nice. I just couldn't find um, a gold that I liked for the center that was going to coordinate nicely with the gold of the leaves here because part of the, the reason for doing this project, besides giving some people a little something to munch on, besides giving them an extra little something for the money they paid for coming to the event, part of the reason for doing this is to showcase product. That's why we do these. We like, we like getting all the project ideas, but we want to showcase product. So the product that um, we're showcasing on here is this paper, which is the red velvet paper. Again, if you choose to do this project and you have the red velvet paper, perfect. If you don't and you choose this project, I'm going to send you some. The other reason is to showcase this product, which is those new little gold holly leaves. They come 30 in a pack. 
again, if you don't have this project I'm going or product, I'm going to send you some, or I will pay you to buy some in a timely fashion. Same thing with these. I would pay you to purchase from yourself the red velvet paper and the gold holly leaves. That's, that's how we would work it if you choose this project. Okay, assembly is really easy. So these two are going to be adhered to each other, and this one is going to be raised up on um, a dimensional. There is an issue of adhering things to the velvet. So again, you've got a choice of two adhesives, either this liquid glue, which is a great glue. Everybody needs to have one in their working space and another one ready to go when you run out. Um, and then this is the glue dots, which is my preference for doing something like this. And I'm just going to put it on the back of, you see me start to go on the surface, I'm like, no, no, I need to go on the back, something where it's going to be smooth and stick to it securely. And then I can come back and lay it on the other one, offsetting. And then once you press it down tight, that glue dot is going to smoosh into the fibers of the velvet and it will be securely held together. For holding these little gold holly leaves on, same thing. You like this? This is a trick I learned at one of our events. Just take a piece of paper. I think Jody Schmidt was the one who showed us this. Just take a piece of paper, wrap it around, hold it with a glue dot, and then it becomes the um, piece that you can use to kind of pull back and get the next glue dot off and you don't have to worry about getting glue dots from the the the, the circumference of this all over whatever you're where you're storing them okay I want them to be across from each other so I'm just gonna pick a spot it doesn't really make any difference and lay one glue dot on each side here that will hold the gold holly leaves on All right, and then from the front to get it lined up, I've got one behind here. Oh, now there's an issue on the gold holly leaves. So <clears throat> you have to look at them carefully and pay attention to front and back. And the difference you're going to see, and I know that this camera is not going to pick that up very well. Oh, there you go. Can you see the lines? You see the lines in the holly leaves? And you can see them on that side and you can't see them on this side. So please do, if you choose this project, please make sure that you're putting them right side up, which means the vein side is going to go down on the back of the project so that when you flip it over, the veins are then showing on the front. The other thing is, I'm sorry, biology teacher here. So um, if you look at those veins from the stem, you want them with the V on the veins pointing out and away from the flower. Please don't put them on backwards. Okay, thank you. All right, so my veins are here. That side goes down to the back. And then I can always reposition it. That's the wonderful thing about glue dots. If I need to pull it apart and reposition it, there's one. Now that I've got one positioned, I know which of these little indentations has my glue dot. I can see the veins on there and get that one set. There we go. This one, this third layer, which I haven't put on yet, I want that one raised up, please. All right, so we're going to raise this up with a dimensional and we're gonna use the mini dimensionals. If you don't have the mini dimensionals, that's okay. Well, you need some if you don't have the mini dimensionals, but if you don't have the mini dimensionals, you can just cut down one of the regular ones, but the mini dimensionals fit real nicely into that size for the small one. All right, and then I can take this out and just pop this on here, offsetting it however you think it looks good, and that's all that's needed. So there's a simple little way that everybody can get something they can take home with them with a sample of the red velvet product and the gold holly leaves. And then all you're gonna do, let me take this thing out if I can. So if you are choosing this product project, then what you wanna do is probably put this on last. The first thing you wanna do is to get this thing wrapped around. I would like to have the thing that says the name up, which means I'd like to have the seam on the back, please. So I did nothing special. I just wrapped it around, which means that there's going to be kind of wrinkles. If you don't like that, if you'd like to go ahead and crease, put some score lines in there, that's fine. I don't have any, um, has to be any particular way, but this is a great glue to use on here. And it can be any green that you have. I happen to be using, what am I using? I'm using garden green. doesn't make any difference. Whatever Stampin' Up! green, it has to be Stampin' Up! paper. Because trust me, there are people who will look at it and try and figure out what color it is, and they will know if you're using something non-Stampin' Up! 
any Stampin' Up! green that you have. And then um, for this thing, I would suggest going ahead and using the liquid glue on here. You want something that's going to hold it on securely. You could also come back and hold it on with a whole bunch of the glue dots. I would rather not have this raised up on dimensionals. I would rather have this lay a little bit more flat on the project. There we go. So that's held on and voila, we have a finished project. So people will have something that they can either take apart and eat and just go home with the belly band or they'll go home with the completed project to show off to their friends and customers. And then when I market this at the event, this is just such a fun way. I mean, imagine a Christmas dinner where you've got one of these super simple and easy to make sitting in everybody's place card. So that's how we will market it at the event. Anyone who is interested in doing this project, please let me know. Either you have to have the poinsettia dies or we have to find a way for you to borrow my poinsettia dies. Any green paper that you have, you will find glue dots and dimensionals and the liquid glue, extremely useful. This also works for putting things together. And then if you don't have the red velvet paper of your own and the holly leaves of your own, I will order them, have them sent to you using so that it, it counts towards your sales or have you order them count towards your sales. They just have to get to you in a timely enough fashion that you can have them the product in your hand and get probably somewhere between 15 and 25. I don't know what the numbers are yet. We won't know until the final date for registration. So if you're interested in doing this project for me, let me know. Thanks.